1985. My first Sasquatch sighting. Back in November of 1985 my wife and I were on a deer hunt with my in-laws in the mountains of northwest Montana. It was early afternoon around 1 p.m. or so. We found an ice drawer that looked good and decided to check it out. My wife and mother-in-law headed down an old skidder road that went up along the far side along the creek. My father-in-law went up the top of the ridge to the east. And I went up the bottom to the east of the creek. We figured we might push any animal we encountered to each other. The area had been logged several years earlier and in places you could see up to 150 yards or so, and has a lot of underbrush and patches of alder brush. Where I was, I had a lot of windfalls to work my way through. The road that the girls went down they said the road was fairly open but the trees and brush were thick on either side and they couldn't see very far. The father-in-law was above me on the ridge, and we could catch a glimpse of each other from time to time. We were probably between 150 and 200 yards apart and 100 feet in elevation defret. I was about 1-4 mile from the pickup when I noticed that it's eerily quiet. Only sound was the water trickling in the creek. I had just got to a spot where the ground was getting a lot steeper when I heard a yell. I thought it was my father-in-law. So I yelled back here then the yell comes again only louder. I can't understand what was said so I head towards where he should be. The yell comes again. I'm thinking he fell and hurt himself or something. I soon find him and say what's up. He said he thought it was me yelling. Then it comes again. He said I'll work my way down to the rig and see if it's the girls. I said it don't sound like them. But I'll go back down to the creek and see if I can find them. We separate and now the yelling is coming pretty regular. I get back down in the bottom and the yell is echoing all around me. I can't see anything and can't figure where it is coming from. So I started towards where the girls should be. Unknown to me they heard the yelling got scarred and were already at the pickup. I'm working my my way down the draw trying to see what's making those noise. It was almost like a moose call but different. It was really eerie and would stand the hair on your neck right up. This continues till I get down to the pickup about 20 minutes later. I walk out of the trees and hears everyone else looking for me. The yelling is still echoing down the draw and they are like what the hell is that? They ask if I had seen what it was. I told them I didn't but it seemed to be following me down the draw. It was just staying out of sight. I asked if now that we have everyone accounted for do they want to go see if we can find it. They all said no pretty much at the same time. I told them I don't think it's very far off. Then it all went quiet again. We all started to get ready to go. I'm looking all around still trying to see anything. When I see it, I said there it is and all four of us see a big dark hairy man looking thing crossing an open ridge several hundred yards above the draw. It was moving at a good pace and crossed an area about 75 to 100 yards across in just a few seconds. It was on two legs the entire time and was moving faster that I can run. I always thought that there could be some truth to the Sasquatch stories, but now I know of their existence. This was my first sighting. I have now has three sightings and several experiences. I already shared my most recent sighting on this site and will share my second and closest sighting soon. I get a really good look at it. Question from user Get Our Done Idaho at Sasquatch Research at Reddit. Answer. Great story man if you are interested in sharing it with more people check out the facts by how to hunt on YouTube Steve shares people's stories every day. Answer from user Umpa22 at Sasquatch Research at Reddit.